Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Nibai. And welcome to Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> we are in Ho Chi Minh. Oh my god, the big city. Yeah, and wow. I have umbrellas today <laughs> because it's really hot outside. I don't want to say it's hot, it's not sunny, but it's, it's like humid. cloudy. It's yeah, humid. it's humid. So yeah. I want to have this because I think like two two days ago when I was driving a motorbike in Monet from Pontiac to Monet. I did actually burn myself on my arm, so I'm, I'm still a little bit red. So I tried to hide myself in the shower. I asked like, him if he wanted some sunscreen and he said no. So I don't believe in sunscreen. And what? also, every time I take sunscreen, I have like like white clothes or blue or everything. It's turning yellow. So the sunscreen actually make my clothes miss uh, color. So I don't want it. I just I can burn myself and leave it with one week. It's okay. Yeah. But today I need to to hide myself. <laughs> but guys, that's not about. We uh, are heading for for a market like the mo one of the I think it's like one of the most famous market, if not the one most famous market here in uh, Ho Chi Minh. So we're gonna actually show you the way, and we will recognize it when we are outside. So please follow us to our walk to the good, amazing, big markets. Let's in go. beautiful traffic. Yeah, in the beautiful traffic. If you, if you can handle this traffic, you will handle Everything. all of them in the world because I think this it's so busy, but it's they are actually professional drivers, I would say, because they know how to drive, even though it's so many of them. I want to say like this traffic is like stress. If you can handle it, you can handle everything. Yeah, that's what I mean. Exactly, guys. Oh. Look. <laughs> Just walk. So we find like the mini bummies, so we can actually ask if she's open, things like that, and order two, one for me and for you. So the name is Bummy Ke Loco, that means crazy bummy. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try. I see that's it's good, seems good. Hi, are you open? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's great for a chicken. Let me see. Okay, here is like the pork. Yeah, it's like most pork. Sausage. Oh, you can take one. Are you sure? Yeah, do it. Um, you want to know how it tastes like? Yeah. I get like one. So it was pork in them, so this time he's gonna go for it. And uh, let's see how it tastes like. Yeah. Uh, do you want spicy? Spicy? Uh, close. Spicy. spicy. Of course we want spicy. What is spicy? What is food without spicy? Regular food. <laughs> but spices make it really bit good. Yeah, just like a little bit delicious. So add some spice. 12,000. 12,000 for one mini mummy. Which is 60 cents? I don't know. Yeah. Like 60 cents, 60, 50, 50, 60 cents. Or in crowns, how much, how much is crowns? Like five cents. Five, yeah, like five, five, six crowns. Five, six crowns, no I got it, and it's warm. She like put that in the oven. I go to try. So, inside is 
pate and and a special butter and some chili sauce. It was good. It was like a breakfast bread without uh, without so much ingredients, but it was really nice and really light. So I really sna a little snack before we heading back to our uh, original road to destination to the market. So now I'm gonna get some drinks before we head into the market. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Come on, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Do you have a cold? No cold. No cold. I, 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 ice. Uh, yes, please. Uh, I need uh, ice. Hey, yeah. What's wrong? Oh, this? This is like, I think, like uh, Thailand so and Korea, there we can go like to 7 Eleven, like convenience store, and buy like ice and then buy your drink and then put it, put it yeah. inside. This so is so nice. Come on, thank, oh, thank you so you. much. Do you need help? Uh, open this one. <laughs> I can't, I can't move it. Okay, he <laughs> helped you. Oh, so nice. Thank you so much. Come on, thank yeah. you so much. Okay. People are so Man, nice. Yeah. Yes, they are. Oh, wow, you're kidding. Wow. Yeah, it is? Yes. Let's share. Oh my god, it tastes so good. The first thing I come in my mind, I don't know why. This is peach iced tea, the yeah. best one. It tastes like Lipton iced tea. But it tastes also like a Guarana, like the Brazilian drink that I, I love. It is, yeah, because I don't know why. Now it, I think it's because it's as sweet, <laughs> not like the sweet and the the, um, the flavor. It was really Maybe good. Never tried, so I can't Guarana, say. you have tried in Sweden, yeah. yeah. It's oh, like yeah, I know. It's Madocan. like a... It's Almost like, like a trocadero. Yeah, like yeah. crocodile. Like the <laughs> what's is this a crocodile like uh French? Yeah. No, it's not. It's not. I don't think so because my cousins always ask my dad to send trocadero from Sweden to France, so I don't think so. <laughs> but crocadile is like a French I don't think so. City? Okay. We you need would to... never do that, that if they had it. I mean... <laughs> we need to look it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. They taste like crocodile. It's like, if you guys know what Guarana is, um, if not, it's like, I want to say it's like, it's Brazilian Coca-Cola. I think like each country have like their own like uh, soda, like a soft drink yeah. that everyone loves. And that's the one that's Brazilian. But it tastes like this and it smells like that, but I think it's but just because it's sweet. we can try it when we go to Brazil. <gasps> I will try it every day. We have booked the trip to Brazil, guys, so... We're heading. Looking forward to so, vlogs from Brazil. Exactly, and you have not seen that yet. We did post, yes, um, we did post uh, the list on uh, YouTube, so you can see actually where we're heading. And of course, we will fill it up with more countries. Yeah, so, we, so far, I think we have six countries yeah, six on countries. the list, or we forgot Singapore. But we forgot <laughs> to put in Singapore. Yeah. Uh, so six countries is ahead. Exactly. Yeah. So that's good. And we are here, but we are actually, uh, we are in like in the side of the markets because, thank you. Uh, we take just uh, we walk here because we live like really really close. So I'm gonna show you guys where we are. Welcome to I think it's a band trend market. So babe, are you ready? I'm super ready. I'm already looking for the sunglasses. Oh, no, okay, I need to take you away from them, come. <laughs> I think I have an addiction, seriously. Yeah, I, how many pairs do you have now? Like, I, uh, Before we moved, maybe I had like 50. 50? Yeah, and now maybe 20. 20, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, something like that, I did like, sorted it out, like, sort, no, I didn't sort, yeah. No, I, you have, you I have gave away a lot of them. Yeah. And the, the funniest thing is like our bag is going from like heavy to heavier, not like heavy to light. It's like going up. Yeah. For me, I don't know why. I think like she's smuggling more clothes in my bag than she has. And like, oh, no, 
I don't. I, think I don't she do that. even touch her belly. Yeah, no, yeah, no. That's what they always say. Um, <laughs> when they stop me and ask if I was the one to pack my bag, I would say no. That was my girlfriend. <laughs> if, they stop, if they stop me in the airport and ask me, is, there, is you the one that's to pack this bag? I was like, nope, my girlfriend did. <laughs> but seriously, I haven't put anything no, that's mine in your bag. I know, but right? I don't know how it's gonna get like, heavier. Other times I do that, like asking someone to keep it. it. Yeah, but it's not about our bags. It's about this amazing Bantram market here in Vietnam. Yeah. So I know this First is impression. Yeah, a lot of people. I it's think a, I bumped in, in three people already mm -hmm. here. Of course, because it's uh, noon and everyone's here. And uh, one thing, the last time we were here, it was like a lot more air. But for the moment, it's not. So be prepared to come here and it's gonna be hot. I don't know why, but it's really, really hot. Uh, everyone's a fan on, but it's good. So, yes, let's go around and see what they have. It's uh, amazing. Hmm? I, let's check it out. So here guys, you know, of course like one thing that Vietnam is most famous for is like the coffee. It's like the second country in the world like the part coffee outside. But I did not know you can actually find the whistle coffee here. If you know what whistle coffee is means, it's like the animals that eat like the coffee beans and then poop it out and some people like to eat it. I don't know, not eat it. Like yeah, they clean it up and then do it as coffee. So it's, I think this is one of the most uh, coffee beans or like coffee per gram in the world. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm right, correct me. <laughs> but you also have like elephants, you have Luwak and the Blue Mountain. The elephant is more expensive than the weasel. So I don't believe that the elephant will eat the like, coffee beans and then, you know, just dash it and then put it back to someone to drink it. But they have it here. Have a look. What is elephant coffee? Elephant is? Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, so we got the information. Oh, is that one? Oh, wow. So that's the one. Look like. Oh, it's a So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've heard it before, but I've never heard about the elephant. I know like the weasel uh, coffee, but not elephant coffee. So, weasel and number two, elephant number one. <laughs> so the most expensive in the world it should be. Okay, that's what's the news, I did not know it. <laughs> I think it's taken a lot of time and a lot of coffee beans to the elephant to actually get it out. <laughs> oh, Very okay. interesting. So Very. now we learn something new, guys. Exactly. And they have a lot of uh, dried fruit, like candy. I think most of the like dried fruit is almost like candy, uh, instead of like the candy we have. Um, this is more natural candy, I would say. Look at this one. Healthier candy. And a lot of nuts. Mm. You can buy a whole bag. Yeah? Let's go to the bag. What did you say, Ben? You can buy a whole bag of nuts here. Yeah. So, I love that they have like small alleys so you guys can go through. And we can show you later. But, babe, first thing I want to say is of your advanced from market, it's like an in-house market with everything. You have food, you have fruit, you have flowers, you have uh, electronics. I saw it like, you have fake goods and you have coffee and have drinks and everything. But you have been asking about the sour soup, sour soup fruits. Oh, yeah. They may have it here, yeah. maybe not. Let's see. So I was like telling, now I'm going to the fruit session. 
It was so funny because I tried sour sour soup. I think the fruit is sour soup in English. But I tried it first time in uh, the Philippines. And the name there is Goyabano. So I was like ask, walking around here like asking for Goyabano. The habits. And you were like, no, that's not like in English. I was like, what? You, you told me all the time that it was like Goyabano. But it's not in English, it's uh, in the Philippines. But, so everyone yeah. thought I was like half Filipino. I'm like, oh yeah, I will try to say I'm half Filipino. But I did not get Filipino price. So <laughs> no matter how much Filipino you can, words you can do it, people see it on your nose if you're lying. And that's true in Philippines. They really look at your nose. <laughs> they have it. Uh, they have uh, sour soup or guevano. Look at that one. The one there. And, uh, I really want to buy one, but I want it like it must be soft inside. Yeah. Otherwise, it's uh, not tasty. So you can go back later and buy it. Yeah. And I, I actually want to try. Um, uh, I want to try. Uh, Durian too, but I don't know if you want it today or another day, but I want to try it one more time. Last time, and first Durian time. Is the worst. The first time was well, I really... Think we, we had a really bad experience, maybe. Yeah, I think the first time was not that planned, because we just came straight out the grab in the Chinatown in Thailand, and it was like hot, super hot outside, and uh, we just go to first stall and then uh, did not look at uh, around the just take the first one and after it tastes really bad and looking back to it i think the fruit have been in the sun all day long the guy that uh, like cut it may not been like as thinking like yeah you know like this is a foreigner because foreigner want the taste but yeah i think that was just a bad experience i, I want to try a fresh one this time like see them cut it and try it because we did try the fruits like the with the sugar in the um, yeah, so you can buy like cut, not cut, uh, uh, coconut candy, and you can buy it in durian candy as well. Uh, that one was good. It was not bad. It was just uh, the smell was not good. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the flavor was okay. Uh, I think we're gonna give it a new try. Yeah. yeah. We give it a try another another day or right, later. Sure. And, uh, and guys, behind us we have like the full stalls inside here. We tried it once uh, last time and uh, I, I will recommend hi, I, highly, yeah, I will recommend like eat outside and come here after because I, think, I don't remember, what was our experience last time? Uh, it was not good. It was not no, good? No, I think we, I think like um, the first thing is like the price is higher and the second one is like it was not tasty as much as I want and I think we get like a little bit sick because it was the food I think we take like shrimps both of us and uh, after like one hour feeling like a little bit sick but also like the smell yeah, it was something about the smoothie I remember yeah but also they didn't clean it nay, they didn't it if you did if you order smoothie last time they did they don't clean the mixer they put everything together and you have like, I don't no, know what, it was else. but it was that, like one of the smoothie, but it was, it was not because you ordered banana I don't know. and it was yeah. like not banana. It was like a mix with everything else that was before the banana. Yeah, so this was, was a bad experience. Else, but yeah, I don't remember. I always so, forget the bad things. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But just a recommendation, uh, both course you can go here and try. Uh, that was like our last time and I also heard about it and I was like that before I come here people like don't go there don't I like go there but don't eat there and then for me it was like ah it's not better and the experience was true but 
do what you want, but the recommendation from myself to you is like eat outside, go around here, maybe looking or shopping. And maybe I hope like if you take a shake or something to drink, be, tastes better than they did for us. Just a recommendation. Uh, but be prepared like the price is a little bit higher than it's uh, outside or around here. So you know. <laughs> yeah, that's our experience and recommendation. Yeah. But the shopping here is really nice. You can find a lot of tea as well, not only coffee and candy. And of course, a lot of uh, bags, but mostly like fake bags, I think. Yeah, oh, I think all the bags have... Huh? We have oh, the wines. Have, uh, you have the snake, snake wine, wine, scorpion wine, and, and uh, yeah, around... I think that's illegal to bring it outside or something like that, or so they not be drinking. This is more for decoration. Yeah, look, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I have as have as a decoration, but something about it's like I think it's forbidden to sell it was something about it. I don't know, correct me again if I'm right, about the snake and the scorpion wine together. And I think the taste was like really bad. Because it's like moonshine in a bowl and then they put like snake and scorpion. Oh, wow. But can you get it affected? Like uh, do they have any but Vomit? Vom no, vomit. What is the word in English? Yeah. Uh, poison. Poison. But yeah, I was I looking I for another know. word. But I don't know if it's yeah, poison. uh, poisonous. Is it like, if a snake has poison, are you going to be affected? Venomous. You mean a vein venomous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. venomous, not vomit, because no. another word. Yeah. <laughs> yes, poison. I, poison. I don't know, yeah, I don't know I actually how like, they clean can it. Can you get like affected or high or anything? Because, because or do, you, do they take it out from the snake and then put it inside? I don't know. My, my, if you're my the one that do like uh, snake uh, wine or scorpion wine and looking at this, can you explain how the process works? <laughs> oh, wow. Or but if, yeah, if you're the one that have been trying it, how, how was the taste? Exactly. The, the thing I was trying to say before this was they do have like a lot of bags, no, but all of them have like fake uh, brands on it, like Chanel and all of them. I think it's sad that, that they don't have any bags without the logo you know what i mean yeah why like, because that's that would be more like sales than if you have like a fake brand because nah, no you're yeah, in, you're yeah, in I asia would, i would never buy like i want to have like you you maybe be one percent of those person that's looking for their way 99 percent of people go like to vietnam thailand philippines around like asia and then buy fake goods to bring home that's what they do, and that's why like it's a but cheap location for them. I thought, I thought you them. buy the brands because of the quality and not because the brand like showing on the bag. Then you're wrong, super wrong. People buy it because it's a brand, yeah. and yeah. Uh, I would do cheap. the opposite. I would yeah. buy it because of the quality, not because of the brand. No, no, no. Exactly. I mean, not because showing up. No, yeah. but people want to show off okay. and they want to buy it because of the brand. Okay. And but here is much, much cheaper. I still think they should have other options. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe with a Miss brand or something, you know, like... Yeah. Thank you so much. Coffee and tea? It's okay. Thank you. How much? 60. So, coffee. Coffee bean with powder. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love the way, like, how it, how it say coffee. Because I say coffee like in Portuguese, cafe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like cafe whistle, something I like. Look at him, I like to uh, talk Portuguese. <laughs> uh, same in Swedish. Cafe. Yeah. Cafe. Uh, cafe. Uh, they, okay. It's like a little bit like in the, you know, like the, the sound. <laughs> but you're still here like in the food court. Oh, they have the shirt, yeah, baby. Yeah, as soon as I see jelly, I just want to try because I really like baba. Yeah. But I'm going to try somewhere else, I think. Mm, I think we need to eat lunch before it yeah. dessert. Wow. Go inside the middle? Oh, you yes. want to go inside the... Let's go eat. No, let's go in the middle. But there's a lot of people there. People sitting in the alley. I don't think we can go through them. So we go this way. <laughs> Hello, let me my line do all. So this is what I meant with the desserts. 
Yeah. And here they have like it's seafood. All the same, isn't it? Yeah. They've done it now, been there, done it. So shall we do our cassette? Go down. Look yeah. Hello. Thank you. Oh, this is good. It's okay, thank, thank you. you. Um, and I think that's why we may have felt a little bit ill after being here because the first thing is, uh, I said when it comes inside is like it's hot inside and to have like seafood like this in like this like warm uh, positions of course make people maybe that's like weak stomach like us sick <laughs> So it's up to you. You can try like different things. Just just recommendation, just like to show you how it looks like. And it's mostly like some places look like this and some places actually take care of the food. So choose wisely or make your taste as good as possible. So it's up to you. Hello. Hello. I looking I looking for my girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I love the all like souvenirs. Huh? I love the souvenirs. No, no. I was less I don't yeah, last time I was here I did bought like a lighter. And um, the first thing what happened when it comes to the airport, they take it away. They take like, it away? No, they take the uh, yeah, the yeah. lighter away. I'm like why? They're like you cannot bring this lighter out. I'm like, why do you sell them? You can have other lighters. No, it was it was a lighter without uh, Gas. It was no gas, gas and everything. Exactly. It was it was empty. Was and like just a souvenir. Yes, yeah, yeah. like no, you cannot bring it. Like why? I did buy it. You want the receipt? But you don't get the receipt if you buy the here. <laughs> you may take picture. But why it's like why did, can you not like bring like a lighter on in like an airplane? You can bring like a normal lighter like buy in the streets, but not like the one that's buy a souvenir. I don't know. Like a security reason? A reason? I think. Yeah, or they like. Take it and bring it back here and sell it again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, I've seen like a video from, I think it was like Bangladesh or India, where like kids sell, uh, sold like turtles, like to people, and then people like bought it and like uh, let the turtles free in the lake. And the other side, the, the kids, I mean, the kids was like picking them up again and like <laughs> reselling the same turtles to everyone I mean, else. the marketing was to get, let them free yeah. and then they just got... Uh, yeah, yeah that, that's how we get rich. <laughs> Just get back to same. <laughs> so good. Uh, do you want to see something or look at something? We saw the fruit they have here. Uh, I'm not looking for anything today. Yeah. Um, no. But let's go to the other side. Just go through I'm the, here. I'm the, sometimes I'm the person who is... Um, Shopping with my eyes. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? We're going to go left. Let's go left. <laughs> Here you have uh, all the... Football. Football shirts. <laughs> I got like myself like a Brazilian shirt like in Thailand two years ago and it got like smaller so I was like I gave it away before I travel. I'm like no how can it get smaller? But remember guys every time you go to a trip buy buy a bigger size uh, of clothes because when you get home you get a little bit more muscle and eat a little bit more than you do like in your vacation. So just a reminder. <laughs> they have a lot here, guys. So if you are here for vacation, I wouldn't mind buying everything almost. <laughs> and not the fake ones. <laughs> no, no, exactly. But I mean, uh, yeah, if it wasn't because we are traveling around the world right now, we would buy more stuff. <laughs> Right, definitely souvenirs. yes. I will buy more like football shirts because they're the football shirts that the one of the best like to have like in this weather, like when it's hot outside, you don't get like as warm like with one of those. But 
It's nice, but also like with uh, workout uh, t-shirts and then shorts, like really, really good material to have it. So it's amazing. Thank you. You can see like the, the aisle here is uh, very, very small. Never ending street. <laughs> No, exactly. You can actually go from this side to the other side, just through the alleys. Yeah. That's good. Just continuing. Oh, you have like small purse. That's nice. I think the best thing actually to buy here is like uh, scarves or like uh, like that, so you can use it. Hey, hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 It's okay. Thank bye. you. Bye. Hello. Bye. 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 Now it's quite hot. Yeah, you saw it before. Oh, there they have uh, a lot of uh, paintings, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's souvenirs. Oh, so you can go inside here. Yeah, this is another section. This is another section. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I wonder if I should look, uh, if I will look good in one of those. I think this is for guys, yeah. We look for guys. Uh, yeah, it looks like. Yeah. If not, they will tell me. <laughs> you read well, it wrong. They? You wear it wrong. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's for guys because the girl is like smaller and the guy is like bigger. You can see here. Yeah, exactly. They are more uh, perfect. Oh. But the first impression here is good because this is like our second time, but I think this is like our really first time. Because last time we were just here to eat and then like head, uh, hitting back like in the sun again. But this time we're actually going around, so it's a lot more to see than I was expecting. And a lot bigger than I expect because I was thinking when you're in the middle and coming to like the main entrance, you see like you can see straight through and I'm like, oh, this is small. But no, if you uh, walk around, it's take your time. So that's good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Uh, I think it's amazing, guys. Just walking around. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, now I go back. <laughs> so now I go back to the middle. So. How long time do you say like it's take if you go like slow here? It's maybe take like 30 to 40 minutes. Depending if, on if you're shopping or ex bargaining, exactly. then it will take much longer. <laughs> if you're bargaining, it's take double exactly. all, the uh, all the time. <laughs> Every time you're bargaining, it's going to be double the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. I also remember like one of... Uh, um, one of the movies that we was watching is actually about Vietnam. I don't remember the name of the movie, it's but on it, it's on Netflix. It's like you can, you want, yeah. Exactly, yeah. we can actually recommend that to you guys. You can put the name here, so you can watch it and see, like, next time we come to Vietnam, you know a little bit about it. I think it was amazing because it was information, but also, like, movie that was, like, really good. And they was here in Ben Tran, too, so that's nice. I wonder what they do have in the middle here. They collect money. I think they charity or something. Social charity. That's good. Where did you came from, dear? Dear, where is looking like? Oh, you can see up here. Oh, that's nice. Western gate, north gate, east gate, and south gate. I think we came from the south gate. I don't remember. No, wait. Does it matter? 
No. Where's as as long as we get out from here for one day. <laughs> Here's the fruits. Okay, we came from here because the fruits are over here. <laughs> I remember that there. So the fruits was after we got the so we came from here. Oh. They find the way out. Oh, like actually the way that we were looking for. It it was the north gate. So this was like our first impression of the Bantra market and for us... Se second impression? Second impression, but no, but yeah, second impression, but first impression like in more here because this is the first time we was actually walking around like I said. First time we were here, we just went for the food and then out, so we didn't actually explore the whole area. So yeah, this I think we can say it's first impression of the whole area. Yes, and uh, thank you a lot for watching and I hope this gets you a little bit more experience when next time you come here and just be open-minded and if you want to show please bargain do it as good as possible so that's that's the thing here so just do it and guys don't forget to like this video don't forget to share it with the ones that will come here please subscribe if you're not doing it yet and comment where you want us to do, like if you have like more experience about the co uh, elephant coffee or whistle coffee, how they made, or have you been drinking the snake wine and still survived, please tell us. I want to know that, especially that I one. I think it's hard if they didn't survive to actually comment the video. No, I, I, I will hope like <laughs> my friend did it once and then like took, took, took. Okay, then I understand that we just was only once. <laughs> but kidding, guys. Take care. We appreciate you a lot. We we'll see you again tomorrow, and for tomorrow's vlog, it's gonna be more vlogs out from Ho Chi Minh. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you again. See you. See you tomorrow. Have a really nice day, guys. Ciao. Bye.